Hello everybody. Today I have the pleasure of being joined by Gina Bradbury-Fox, who is the co-founder of the Outdoor Guide, who she co-founds with Julia Bradbury, her sister. And the Outdoor Guide is known as TOG, and you've probably seen, I've shared it in the group a few times. It is a site dedicated to getting outside and exploring with hundreds and hundreds of walks all over the country. Um, it's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, you can search by location, you can search by railway walks, canal walks, um, country parks, and if you watch the ITV series of 100 Best Walks in Britain, all of those are on the website as well. So, hi Gina, how are you doing? Fine, I'm good, I'm good. This is uh, an anomaly for me because normally it's Julia in the hot seat, so... Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm used to, that's not something I'm used to doing. <laughs> it's okay, you've taken up the challenge, I'm very grateful for yeah, that. So, yeah. Just tell us a little bit more about the website and the mission. Well, it all derives really from, from um, people wanting to know where Julia walks and her recommendations. And we've expanded on that over the last six years. So we've built a free online resource of information to do with the outdoors. So basically where to go, where to walk the um what is around that particular walk where to stay we don't sell anything off it it's purely sort of inspirational just to sort of get people out there and to be able to do things and we also focus on accessibility and we have somebody that works for us who's in a wheelchair so we we go and we film debbie in situ so that people can see the terrain and so on and so forth because it's very key for julia and i to make um, the walks accessible for all. I love that actually on your website you've got the area dedicated to access tog which like you say Debbie does she's really inspiring isn't she and she's pretty fearless yeah. she does go all over the place yeah um, yeah I have to rein her in I do have to rein <laughs> her in I have to say <laughs> I think actually I um, directed someone to your website the other day actually because someone was asking about um, wheelchair accessible walks um, and it is amazing isn't it all the places that you can go and also again all over the country as well so it's a great resource for anybody and like you say it's free but obviously during this time we've had weeks of lockdown where we haven't even been able to go out so what have you been doing and what have you been focusing on behind the scenes well, I think for all of us, it's, um, it's a, I mean, the word unprecedented it has been so overly used, but it, but it sums it up. I mean, and, and I think you can either go into meltdown, and I think a lot of people do have meltdown days, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, we, we've been doing a lot of stuff with Julia, actually. Uh, Tog has sort of just been bubbling with the team behind updating stuff, checking stuff, links and so on, and tidying, sort of housekeeping, yeah. which I haven't been doing because that's, you know, I, I, I'm the sort of face of it, but I've got the worker bees and I've been very keen to keep them busy and working. So, um, but Julia has been doing um, lockdown sessions with a fantastic guy called Jonathan Hoban, who is a, therapist but he believes that you can do therapy while you're walking so he and julia through long distance and zoom and technology have done live instagram um, lockdown therapy where they they're talking about how to improve the, improve yourself and and basically tips so we've been uploading those in the, the sessions we've uploaded the sessions onto the site so people can see those We've been concentrating on newsletters that aren't sort of promoting accommodation or anything so that we don't want to tease people. It's been more factual about about what's out there and, and just really just trying to take care of each other. It's really what I've been keen to do during this time and make sure my team are happy and just sort of keep them keep them focused. I know because it's weird, isn't it? When you can't you don't know when it's gonna end. Um, so it is actually, it's like you say, you just sort of have to keep going and try and remain positive. And I saw those videos um, actually with Jonathan on the YouTube channel. So I'll share that YouTube channel so people can watch those. Um, well, they're all on the, they're all on, if they, if you, if they go on the homepage of TOG, there's a direct link then that takes you to session one, two, three, four, and we've now got five up there. And it's also got 
accompanying question and answers which on the youtube channel you've just got the video but on the oh. on the site on the site you've got written q and a's that we've actually put up as well oh fabulous which is so it's, that's so we've just been trying to not reinvent ourselves but do things that it that is useful that is useful um for now and also for the future Mm, I think it's great time, isn't it, to catch up on these things, like you say, yeah. tidying up the website and catching up on everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. But now lockdown's easing slightly and people are allowed out and they're walking um, and people want to make the most of their time. So actually your website is a great resource, isn't it, for finding those walks that are on your doorstep that you might not have yeah. been on before. No. And what's great about it is once you've found a certain walk, because it's got the map guide to it, um, yeah. and all the information and directions to be able to follow it yeah. and it tells you whether it's um, hard terrain or you know the, yeah. the length of the walk so um, we'll be prompting all of our members to have a look at that but also how can we help you because I know you what one of your things is it's like a community isn't it it's about sharing information so yeah. Yeah. we can encourage people to upload their walks and the walks that they're doing during well life. The walks, so we have a community blog, which anybody can, can write into and we can, and then we obviously, we check it and we feature it. The walks, um, we've recently partnered now with Ordnance Survey, so, which is fantastic. And they have an app, so you can um, download the walk into their app and it sits on the Ordnance Survey platform. Um, our mapping is very much curated because there's a lot of websites out there which are fantastic but they're overrun with a lot of um sort of like my walk to the bus stop which you know is not really you know well what if with technology people think oh i can do this let me do that you know and actually somebody else isn't necessarily going to find that interesting so we're very much control but what we'd love to hear is any hidden gems because we can then do the research and the idea is is that once lockdown is lifted we will then get back on the road again and film in locations to because we've got gaps um there aren't enough hours in the day so yeah. if, we, if, if a if a member of a community writes to us and says there's this amazing walk with caves and so on and so forth. You know, we can then do the research of that. And when we're in that area next, we would then go and film it because the, the USP of the site really is all the video footage and so on that we have to, to show it because it's quite boring just looking at the route on a, on a, on a paper. But if you can then see fabulous photographs and, and the drone going over the walk and so on, it, it really, that's the thing that everybody loved about Julia and loves about Julia's walks is those aerials yeah. to really get a, fe a feel of, of where they are. And obviously accessibility, if somebody knows of accessible properties and so on, we're always interested, you know, we're just interested in anything to do with the outdoors really. Hence yeah. why we, we are partners with you because it's, you know, it's, it's sharing that expertise and that, um, and that passion. And I think because your, your tagline is, let me just read it out so I'll, I'll say it wrong, find it, share it, live it. So it is, isn't yeah. it? It's like cl collective knowledge and actually giving yes. people the opportunity to then go yeah. out and experience it themselves. So I think actually loads of our members would probably really enjoy doing that. It's like a little challenge, isn't it? To share those hidden gems, like you say, and, it yes. yeah. and see it if you yeah. then revisit it when you can. Yeah. And the other thing that where that I was, I know that you were going to launch um, your your sharing you know house swap um, yes. thing which is I think is a fantastic idea and I'd like to put more about that on the site because oh, I think that well I think you know where we are a lot of people do I mean our, our the site numbers and we, we get a lot of interest from Americans who so when they can travel again I think you know to to house swap will be a, a really good thing and I'll, i'd love to promote that but oh, the one thing that 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 we were going to launch and now i've sort of deferred it is that the basics to get outside are in this country for instance are waterproofs a waterproof jacket and trousers and a pair of wellies and unfortunately in um, 
disadvantaged areas you know people do not have the resources to buy those mm -hmm. items and my aim big ambition now is to be able to raise money to to give every primary school in the uk 10 sets of of this kit oh, wow. to because it's one thing saying to people you've got to go outdoors hug a tree nature's good for you green spaces but if that kid hasn't got the right equipment to go out there it is then a horrible experience for them it's because funny. they they get to school all the other kids have got their stuff they don't have it so then the teacher says well we're looking at the lost property what's there and immediately that experience is awful whereas if the school has got sets of 10 in various sizes that they can say don't worry i've got you can have this and it goes over their own kit their own fleece or whatever they've got and a pair of wellies and thick socks and i've partnered with a company that will produce the suits at a very low price oh. dunlop dunlop wellies have said for every pair of wellies i sell in the kit they will give me a free pair oh, wow. so i've got two fantastic partners that are ready to rock and roll and i've just got to raise the money which i was just about to do and the idea is is to raise a million pounds so i can then give so i can kick start it basically and give these suits not it's not money making exercise it's to give these these suits to the the needy people so that when these trips are planned the teacher knows that they've got the kit to be able to put in the put the kids in oh that's amazing well i'll certainly yeah. help share that that's so good <laughs> what, a, what a really nice thing to focus on a really positive thing to focus on for yeah. the future brilliant it's such a nice idea have you got a name for it not yet <laughs> <laughs> i put it you know what it was it went with i just parked it because i thought i can't do anything with it at the moment so i'm doing all the the behind the scenes work of 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 putting the i mean i've got photos i've got you know julia obviously is right behind it um so yeah oh so, it's lovely i think it's such a positive thing to do so yeah i would definitely share that for you that sounds fabulous you have to let me know and let me know the name maybe we can come yeah, up yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, well, it's just you know the Tog school packs, really. It's yeah. just the stuff. It's just a starter pack. We've got, you know, we've got it. Um, we we we've been working on it for a long time, but like everything, as you know, with all websites and with all, it, an idea is, happens and then it blossoms and then it dies and it comes. You know, it backwards and forwards. Takes time. So, uh, takes time, but if you've got the germ of a good idea then I think, um, and you believe in it. And I think you believe in absolutely what you do. We believe in absolutely what we're doing. We both have to be commercial because that's how we survive at the end of the day, which is very important. But to me, money is never a dirty word. It's, that's what makes the world go round. But if you can put a bit back into yeah. what, what you're doing, I think that's the most important thing. And for me, the website, although it's a commercial website, um, I run it with a very philanthropic side and belief, as Julia does, because obviously we're partners, but she leaves me alone to run it. And we put, we try to do what we can to put the money back into sort of projects that are worthy and so on, without without becoming a charity status, which you know has restrictions. I think it's great. So it sounds like you have still been quite busy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then I've been volunteering, delivering Meals on Wheels to help the aged, so. <laughs> yeah, I know, you said that, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, a lot of people are throwing themselves into things and, and doing things that they wouldn't normally do, actually, I've had that opportunity. And actually, we are talking before we were recording about how nice it is that Earth has had a breather, and that yeah. it's been really nice with yeah. the animals and the sky so clear and the environment, yeah. and it has actually... Yeah. Although it is frustrating being um, in lockdown, it has got its positives. So it's good to take the positives out of it as well. 
yeah so yeah, thank yeah. you so much for speaking to me today and i will definitely be sharing your links for your tog school packs when they come out but also um, all the members of the group if you have a look on the website i'll put the link in and then you have a look uh, maybe you're one of the blo many blog writers that we have in the group you can look at um contributing some blogs to the website as well that'd be fabulous so yeah absolutely i'd love and anybody that uh, you know wants to write in or tell me anything very happy we're at the coalface so it will be looked at oh thank yeah. you well thank you very much for talking to me today and we'll chat to you soon Okay, Bye, take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.